What's up guys, Pokelander here, and today we'll, open up, we'll be opening up another Paldean Fates Premium Collection Box. And this time it is the Meowskirada Premium Collection Box. Yeah, um, it obviously has the, the, the starter line evolution of Meowskirada and a Jumbo card. And there is a stand in here, I totally forgot that there's a stand, but there is a stand in here to hold these cards. And 8 packs of Paldean Fates. The last video was pretty decent, uh, just normal baby shines, a lot of hits, but can we get anything better than a baby shiny? Let's find out. Let's just start ripping. Yeah, well, here it is. Uh, I guess my second favorite uh, starter in Gen 9. My first, or I guess the, the last video was Qu Quaxley. That was my least favorite starter. Uh, or Quaxley's pretty cute, but the Qu Quavo evolution line, the, the final, the middle evolution and the final evolution is pretty, uh, it's whatever. Um, but Miasker, oh, there it is again, the stand. Um, the, uh, Miascarada really grew on me. Sprigatito is really cute, but uh, uh, Florigato is kind of mid as well. But Miascarada looks really cool, I will say. That SAR from what I think is Pauly and Fates, or not Pauly and Fates, Pauly Evolved, is a really nice card, I will say. I wish I had it. Um, but yeah, Miascarada really grew on me. But yeah, here is the really nice promos of the, the Evolution line and the, the regular Floor right there. There it is. And uh, yeah, here's the code card. And here is the jumbo. There it is. What we're all here for is the eight packs. But first, we have to do this stand thing. I'll do it again. Uh, but this time for this evolution line. All right, well, here it is. There it is. Like I said last time, it kind of looks funny with the random full right there. It doesn't really match. Uh, but, you know, I guess it kind of has to be like that. But there's a stand thingy. Uh, I won't I won't be using that. This is, this is just trash. I, I don't... I don't, I don't know why they even decided to put that there. I mean, I'll just put it back here for now. Um, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, what we're here for, Apex, Bunny and Fates. Let's see if we can get an S.A.R. Mew. That would be very nice. And, uh, yeah, let's see. I mean, yeah, we, that's like the only card I really want left. We pulled the Charizard. We need, I mean, I wouldn't mind the Iono, the Guard of War, but another starting with another Baby Shiny and an Entei again. I pulled this one back in, the, this was probably my number one Baby Shiny to pull. There it is. Actually, I think, they, no, I, I pulled the Snorlax twice. That was like my second or third favorite, but the Entei was my number one. There it is, a fantastic card to pull. Um, sadly, we already have it. I, I, I would love new ones, but an Entei is so good. I will definitely take that any day. Yeah, that is a good pull. Starting off strong. But next pack. Come on. We're just starting off with a banger. Let's see if we can continue the heat lap press. Scraggy. Don fan. Grapple locked. Come on. Ah, oh, not even a regular full art or anything. There's a code. Um but yeah, come on. The ante is nice, I will say. The next pack of Potty and Fates. I gotta do something better than a, a baby shiny. There is better cards than a baby shiny. That will say it's most full arts aren't better than baby shinies, but I wouldn't mind pulling the full arts. They look cool still. Flittle, Crafty, Mimikyu, regular non hollow. All right, slowing down after that pull, but and there's only eight packs, not, not not too many, so we have low chances of pulling anything crazy. But it's not zero. Until all the packs are gone. There's a Flittle. Pikachu. We need that Pikachu baby shiny in English. I don't know. Come home. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mag. Wait, what? I don't remember seeing this. Wait, what? I opened the set so much, I probably missed. I, I, I just forgot about this card. But this, this hollow is actually insane. That hollow is freaking dope. I, I don't remember opening. I, I don't remember seeing that, that card. But next pack. Or, I mean, I guess it's been so long, I just totally forgot how cool that card is. The next pack, that Mortar always has some nice hollows. That card is, that, that Pokemon always gets the love. And that needs an SAR, though. That'd be killer. But, but uh, I don't know if it's as popular as, as I mean, yeah, I, mean I, I don't know. But, Chim, Chim, Echo, Mesh Chief, Emerald's regular holo right there. Damn, we are slowing down hard. Only three packs left. Damn. This is night and day compared to the last opening, though. Last opening, we had, like, six hits already. We literally only have one. And more doesn't count. I just put it there because it looks cool. Um, we got... we Give us give us an SAR if you're not going to give us a lot of baby shinies. Ghastly. Oh, wait. 
Oh, wait. That looks good. It might be just a baby shiny, but it looks good. Please don't be a baby shiny. And it is a baby shiny. Check it. Oh! <laughs> okay, check it, baby shiny, which I never pulled. I will definitely take that. But we did get an SAR. <laughs> the Nimona SAR throwing the Pokeball in the middle. That did look good. I just couldn't. It was both. I forgot that there was double. I forgot those double bangers. I don't know. But the, there's the Palmy. Or Palmo or Palm. One of, one of them. Oh, wow. A SAR that I do not have. I'll definitely take that any freaking day. I said, hey, you ain't giving us a bunch of baby shines. Give us an SAR. And there it is. Nimona SAR. Fantastic. Look at that glitter. It looks so good. SARs are fantastic. Not the Mew. Not the Iona. But a card that I do not have, I will definitely take it. Definitely not the Penny. Thank goodness we pulled that card twice in a row back in the day. That was my first and second SAR from the set. So I'm really happy that it's not a Penny. Uh, I th yeah, I think we pulled every single trainer except for Iona now. Now we just need the Iono. But a f there it is. An SAR pull. I'll definitely take it. And if you do not know, Potty and Face has like a 1 in... 54 chance of pulling an SAR. There's no booster boxes. Booster bundles are kind of the best bet to get SARs. And it took me a long time to pull my first SAR. I will say it took me like 1 out of 64. No, that's not true. I pulled an SAR really early. That's not true. I think maybe thinking of the wrong set. But it is pretty hard to pull an SAR from this set. I will definitely take that any day. And another full art right there. Like I said, we didn't get any full arts in the last opening. Here it is. We got one here. Pouty and Studios, so though. Just a regular full art. But a, not a bad one, I will say. Though... A very you neat, know, non-expensive card too. I think it's like 50 cents, I believe. The next, last pack right here. All right, we brought it back. We brought it back. We got four hits in total right there. Let's see if we can get one more at least. Maybe a baby shiny. Maybe another SAR gold card. Very unlikely, but you never know. I don't know. Kilowatt rule. And we did another baby shiny. Okay, it's freaking... Let's see. Not two. No double binger there. There's a code card. Oh, there it is. A not to. I don't remember if I pulled this baby shiny. All right, with well, this box, pulled it back real quick. No EX, which is fantastic. We did not pull a single EX. That is amazing. But we got one, two, three, four, five. Five hits only. This is not counting this Magmortar, but this Magmortar is fantastic. But how many baby shinies? One, two, three baby shinies, a regular floor, and an SAR. What a fan! Dude, not a single EX, not a illustration rare. Fantastic! I will definitely take that. This box was start started off so slow. I was so scared, but here it is. Not the Mew, but an SAR that I do not have. I will definitely take it. These openings are going a lot faster, actually. I thought these boxes look so big. That doesn't take a little bit longer to open. But these both these videos have been less than like ten minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, let me flip the camera around and this video real quick. All right, so there it is. There's another Paladin of Paladin Fates. Uh, premium collection box, the starter evolution line. This time it was the Miascarada. Um, like I said at the beginning, it kind of scared me. You only pulled one hit out of like the first five packs. Those last three packs are kind of crazy. We pulled like the rest of the hits from there. Um, an SAR, two more, uh, three baby shinies, and a regular full art, and a fantastic Magmortar Hollow. I will say that the Hollow doesn't count, but it's so nice. Uh, I don't remember that card at all for some reason. But the Demona SAR, I did not. I did not have that card. I had two pennies. I had I have an Arvin, I have the Charizard, and now we have the Nimona. Thank goodness we didn't pull another Penny or an Arvin. Uh, but now we still need that Mew. We're still chasing that Mew. We're still chasing that Iona. We're still chasing that Gardevoir. Um, I'll be opening up the last Pony and Fates Premium Collection box, which is the Skeledurge, which hint that is my favorite starter uh, in this new Evolution line, Gen 9. And Skeledurge is honestly so cool. I love him. Um, but yeah, there's the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, hopefully this next last box is the best one. That one was really good. It's kind of hard to beat. Just pulling in any SAR out of there is nice. Um, but yeah, uh, what's my outro again? Goodbye.